afternoon, guys. My hands are absolutely freezing cold. It is like minus three. Um, what's the time now? It's about half three in the afternoon. And there's one way I like to look for roach, and that is to get down here, last knockings when it's about to get dark, and just see if I can see any roach priming on the top of the river. You need nice, flat, calm conditions for this, and today it's pretty flat. So if there's any about, this is what I'd normally do if I'm going to come roach fishing. Just have a little look, late on, wait for them to prime, sit here for a good hour, and just see what happens. I haven't seen none yet though. All I can see at the moment is me going home because I'm frozen solid, my thumbs are frozen. I haven't even got gloves on. But I was planning on coming down here tomorrow and having a little go, so I'm just going to walk along the river. I'll take you along with me and you can have a little look. There's not going to be any fishing today, I'm afraid, guys, because I want to fish tomorrow. These temperatures don't seem to be going up at all at the moment. They're just sitting at the minuses all the time here in Essex. Very, very cold. I haven't known it like this for a few seasons. It's normally windy, rainy, but I like it. Something nice about just fishing on the rivers with a bit of snow on the banks, especially if you catch that almighty two pound roach, you can just hold that picture up in the snow. They just, you can't beat it. It's lovely. Right, let's have a little walk up the river and see what we can see, shall we? Tell you what guys, this river looks absolutely lovely at the moment. The flow's slowed down a bit on it though. But that could change in the morning. Alright, let's have another look up here. Well, I haven't seen the river like this in a while. Iced up. This looks a good little swim to fish with that tree over there. It's a little bit of flow going through on that far bank, which might be worth a go. I can imagine when this river's in flood, just on this inside here, it's blocked by some bushes, um, some reeds here, so there might be a nice little slack that runs through on this inside. Another place worth looking at. But still haven't seen any fish priming yet though. Hmm. But there's still time. Anyone who thinks that just getting out and fishing on the banks and catching is the way to do it, it's not always. This is one of the best ways to find your fish. Get down here the night before because that is when you're going to see them, and nine times out of ten they'll be there in the morning, especially roach. So, the following morning, get down there really early. If you can still see them priming, I would say don't even move from that swim, just stay there all day, even if they're not biting first thing, because they're there. Alright, let's try another swim. There's another cracking looking swim. Got this bush just to the left here. And there's a big bay on the opposite side where it slows the flow. Going up to that old oak tree on the far bank. That looks a nice trot over there. I've not tried this before, this swim. Might be worth a look at this. Should be able to set my box up here somewhere. Be very careful when you're doing this, especially when you're on your own. Make sure you ain't gonna fall in because that is absolutely freezing. If you go in there, you ain't coming out. Yeah, it looks nice this. You can either trot through down this inside where the flow is, or you can just get over on that far bay there where it'll just steadily go through. But again, I haven't seen any roach priming yet. Worth a look at this one as well. It's another one. Some beautiful swims along this stretch on the Stour. 
This is a Suffolk style, by the way. Love it. another little swim here guys this looks all right i think i've done a video here before i think i named it 100 subscribers when i first reached my first 100 subscribers i think i had a few roach out of here from what i remember it's a few years ago now but it's looking nice nice and slow going through the middle here maybe a bit too slow could do with a little bit more water on it but might be worth a go i have not seen any pro any roach priming at all but it doesn't mean to say they're not down here but obviously if you do see them, they're the swims to hit. So before I freeze my nuts off, I'm going home. See you on the next one.